So I'm in the car, obviously I'm driving somewhere and I want to use the time to talk about x-rays and MRI pictures as a tool for planning a Feldenkrais lesson, table work. Uh, I'm driving and I'm thinking about things, I don't want to just think and think and think in my head, I want to talk something I can show later. So this is what I'm doing now. I like when patients bring their x-rays or their diagnosis from the doctor when there's something in the spine. So if there's like a disc herniation or an end plate fracture or something like this. And it really can, it really influences what I will do with them. There's one thing you need to know about the spine. Only, only one thing and about these x-ray pictures. You have to know that all damages to the spine are due to mechanical factors, to mechanical damage. So any disc herniation, any bulge disc, any protrusion is due to mechanical causes. Eventually, repeated lumbar flexion together with load will lead to posterior disc bulges. Uh, the motion that I'm talking about is shown right there on the skeleton. Now repeated flexion bending with load will eventually cause the collagen of the disc to delaminate. And once it delaminates, uh, as you flex, it creates hydraulic stress and observe the bulge occurring posteriorly, which will trap the nerve root, uh, as we see here, upon flexion. Uh, the trick is then to not flex the spine once you've reached this particular state and bend about the hips and generally speaking discs will remain quite resilient to uh, training. So this is the most important thing to know. So then you can look at the x-ray. For example, I, I show you one x-ray, one client comes to me, she has neck pain and then I look at the MRI and I can see her disc is protruding backwards and this is from an overextension of her neck. So I ask how, how did she manage to get to this point and I learned that she's bench pressing. It's a 24 year old girl who is bench pressing and when so I have her lie down on the on the table and I tell her show me how you bench press and then I can see every time she press she presses the weight up she will overextend her neck. She will go in this position. And then she will have the weight on it. And this causes the herniation. Really just a mechanical cause. So you have to teach her how to move different and not to cause it anymore. And once she removes the cause, the mechanical factors, then it can start to heal. And then she will be fine. And she had five sessions with me and now she's fine. She's like, she totally changed. Totally different body posture. Now she, she knows how to hold her neck. She doesn't overextend her neck anymore. Uh, it's interesting that the great performers use their hips and shoulders for power production, but their spine and core for stiffness and power transmission. But if you generate power with your spine, generally it will break. The discs will uh, become damaged before you get to that ultimate performance.